In my career, I've developed a seven-step blueprint to optimal health. These are the steps to get healthy from chronic illness. And alongside that time period was developed a blood test called MVX, which stands for Metabolic Vulnerability Index, created by a guy named Dr. Bill Cromwell. There was a great video that he put out back in May of 2024. And what's really interesting is that MVX and the seven-step blueprint line up one for one where MVX measures chronic illness, the seven steps fix chronic illness. And they line up one for one, not too much and not too little. They correlate exactly together. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how that goes. And if you find truth, then that truth should persist throughout all different kinds of conditions. So when I made this particular graph back in 2018 on the seven step blueprint to optimal health, I was pretty confident about it. I've actually learned from it and I've looked at it. Maybe I need to add something or subtract something and I don't. And when I learned about MVX, it just validated what I already knew about the seven step blueprint. So I've expanded on this and I made a couple of graphics and I'm going to go over this with you. And I'm going to show you this blueprint to getting better from chronic disease. Now it doesn't matter what the disease is and there's a lot of details, but I'm going to give you this general overall broad view. I created these six columns so that you can understand the seven step blueprint to optimal health. That's the far left, dark blue, the MVX factors. There are six of them. That's in this other blue column. The light blue is labs. You can measure where you're at and then the progress. Now, currently MVX is not available to the public. The therapies are broad categories of therapies that I've developed and I worked with over my whole career of 30 years. This next column is symptoms. What are the big, broad, general symptoms that people experience. And this last column is the courses I've developed over the last nine years. And they actually fit pretty well with the Sunset Blueprint to Optimal Health and then the MVX six factors. As you can see in each of these columns, there's actually eight steps. That's because I added step O for optimization at the very end. So steps one through seven are preparation for cleaning. And then step O, optimization, which is step eight, is nourishing. And they all line up really well. I'm going to go line by line for each one of them. So follow along with me. Okay, the first one is in the seven-step blueprint to optimum health to reverse chronic disease, diet. And the best diet for most people is ketosis. Not true for everybody. But the importance about ketosis is it changes your physiology. A lot of people increase or decrease macronutrients without actually getting into ketosis, which is a unique state of physiology that uh, is cat catabolic. It burns up pathological tissue, including fat cells. And when you get into ketosis, the idea is that this first factor in the MVX blood panel gets better. That's the number of small HDL particles. You want that number to go down. And then for labs, you can measure this by particle size of lipoproteins. There's a lab test for that. And then you can use keto sticks, whether it's blood or urine, to see if you're in ketosis or not. The therapy obviously is cycling ketosis. The most common symptoms that people have when they're needing ketosis, this is overweight, poor diet. So it could be insulin resistance, tired after eating, high blood pressure, any kind of metabolic disease symptom. And then this, there's a course I made called the ketosis course. Let's go to number two in the seven step blueprint to optimal health. That's energy increase. The best supplement to increase energy is actually called vitamin B1, B as in boy, how does that correlate with the six factors of MVX? Well, three of those factors of MVX are these amino acids called leucine, isoleucine, and valine. And when those are too high, that prevents your liver from cleaning itself out. You end up getting a fatty liver, which means insulin resistance, high blood pressure, metabolic syndrome. You can test this using labs. You can test amino acids, and you can also test B1. There's many ways to test B1. And then therapies are take B1. Also, there's some nutritional support that your body might need when B1 makes your mitochondria work harder. That includes magnesium, potassium, other B vitamins, iron. And I'll go more into mitochondrial support later in step O for optimization at the very bottom. What are the symptoms that you get when you are in step two? You get poor breathing and poor sleep, also anxiety. And then I have a B1 course that I've created and you can take that course and learn all about step two. 
Step three is called drainage in the seven step blueprint to optimal health. So what does that mean? It means cleaning out your liver, kidneys, lymphatic system, and other organs of excretion that include sinuses, lungs, of course, the intestines, you can't be constipated. So that's how your body cleans itself out naturally, drainage. So when you have drainage going really well, you're not constipated, your lymphatic system is flowing, then you're actually preparing to lower the last two of the six factors in MVX. Those are called citrate and glyca. I'll get into that more later. And then how, what labs can you run to test if your drainage is um, open or not, if your drainage pathways are open or not. And that's CMP, Comprehensive Metabolic Panel. And it can measure liver and kidney function pretty well, although it doesn't measure lymphatic system or lungs or sinuses, but you can take a physical examination or you know your history of sinus congestion or do you have asthma, that kind of stuff. So CMP is the lab for step uh, three in the seven step blueprint to optimal health. And so there are supplements to increase drainage. A lot of them are herbs. There's different herbs for different organs. And that's where herbalists come in. I'm a huge fan of herbs. I sell herbs all the time. Every single day, I'm recommending herbs for different uh, purposes. So what symptoms do you have when you have lack of drainage? Autoimmune disease and constipation. I wrote that here too. And there's not much room to go over all the details about this, but autoimmune disease is uh, several factors put together, and including toxicity and chronic organisms, but they're not leaving your body. And why is that? Well, we're going to get into this more later, but um, you want to make sure that your gallbladder is working well. I already mentioned your liver, the whole lymphatic system. Every single patient that I see, I'm always asking or thinking about their lymphatic system. I'm making sure that their lymphatic system is working quite well. That's super important. Here's a quick graph about drainage. Colon is at the, is at the very bottom. That's the most important one. Because if you're constipated, all this garbage backs up. The next organ and or system is liver and bile ducts. And that's what processes toxins to go through the intestines and out. Above the liver and bile ducts, we have the lymphatic system, the sewer system of the whole body. And you have organs and tissues. They have to be working well because they clean themselves out. And then lastly, the cells. Every cell has some kind of a detoxification ability to clean itself out. So if these things don't work well in this graphic, there's garbage that leaves off to the left here through your lungs, kidneys, and skin. So you don't want to overload your kidneys. They're a little bit more fragile than the liver. The lungs and the uh, skin, you can get asthma and uh, chronic bronchitis, for example, acne, rashes. So these are visible. You can see these visibly as a problem, but also like with the lymphatic system, you get some congested lymph nodes under here or under here. So here's just a quick graphic about lymph, uh, drainage. And this is a very important step in the seven steps. It's step number three. So I made a course about drainage from the head up. And the course is called cholera focal infections because you can have organisms up in here, chronic uh, runny nose, sinus problems, ear infections, maybe some lymph nodes up here, and they could be filled with organisms creating mucus and other poisons, and they leave the face and the sinuses here, and they go down into your body. So I made a whole course about that. And there are people who have reversed their arthritis in their body because they cleaned up unfriendly bacteria in your mouth, causing cavities or not, causing re recessive gums or not. You can have like just bad breath or no symptoms, but yet oral dysbiosis, you're, and you're swallowing it down into your stomach, causing acid reflux, GERD, or heartburn. Just take the course to understand the whole concept. Okay, the next step is number four, intestinal immune cleansing. This is where you clean out your gut. You've been preparing for this, like drainage, for example, making sure you're not constipated. And then you start cleaning out your gut. And when you do this, you're addressing glyca. So in the, the six factors of MVX, the fifth one we're gonna talk about is called glyca. It's a measurement of inflammation and infection. And it's a collection of many inflammatory markers, including maybe you've heard of C-reactive protein, for example, but it measures two main things, neutrophil and leukocyte activity. So that's your infection and then inflammation. So how do you clean that up? You get rid of all the organisms out of your body. So you can have, for example, a skin rash, toenail fungus, 
seasonal allergies, let's say you only get allergies twice a year. Now you got three infections and they are chronic infections. You go to the doctor and they give you a steroid cream for the skin rash. They didn't address it correctly. You take an antihistamine for the seasonal allergies. Again, you're not addressing it correctly. So you want to get rid of all of these chronic organisms correctly 100%. So they're completely gone. If you get some bloating in your gut, could be yeast, could be parasites. You can't just take some sort of enzymes to help your body digest the food and reduce the bloating. It's, you know, I'm not saying don't do that. I'm saying go deeper and clean your gut out. And that's all about step four. So what kind of lab tests can you run for step four? Two of my favorites are gut zoomer. Another one's called GIFX. And one of my favorite supplements, Para 1 and Para 2 from Cellcore Biosciences. Without a doubt, these are the best supplements that I know of in my 30-year career to address cleansing of the intestines. What are the symptoms that you can get when your gut's uh, filled with old uh, mucus, ropeworms, tapeworms, uh, candida, other parasites? You get digestive problems, especially bloating. And then what course have I made to learn more about that? It's called Healthcare the Way the Mother Nature Intended. This is an introductory course and it's free. And in this course, I, I go over the seven steps as an introductory course. Now, later you'll see me talk about the full seven-step course, but I'm lining up this free introductory Healthcare the Way Mother Nature Intended course for step four in the seven-step blueprint to optimal health. Okay, the next step is five out of the seven-step blueprint. It's called full body immune cleansing. This is where you take really good herbs that wipe out organisms from head to toe, from the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes all the way up. And you're reducing glyca again, just like in step four, inflammation and chronic organisms come out of your body. So para three, I'm scooching over here to the far right. Para three is my favorite supplement for this purpose. And para four is also really good. Para four is anti-parasitic and also anti-candida. There's another great product I've been using at the, since the beginning of 2024 called Biocytin. I'm in love with this product. And there's others, and we have probably a dozen other products, but these are my three favorite. What labs can you run to test step five? It's, it's called Cyrex Array 12. Cyrex is the name of the laboratory company. And instead of calling their labs number one, two, three, or lab one, two, three, they call it Array one, two, three, et cetera. So this is Array 12, and it's an amazing um, lab. Here's a sample report of Cyrex Array 12. And you can see on the left, we have a variety of organisms, including bacteria, candida, here's a virus, here's a parasite, another parasite. And here we have a Lyme organism. Here's black mold, aspergillus. Stachybotrys is another form of black mold. And Borrelia at the very bottom, that's another Lyme. That is the main Lyme organism. And it's simple to read, green, yellow, red. Red is bad. Yellow is also not good. Green is good. With all these organisms, this person has some work to do, and this is their before test, and this is their after test, after nine months of going through a correct healing program. You don't want to just give people an antibiotic for bacteria, antiviral for a virus, antiparasitic for a parasite, and then some kind of a um, antifungal for candida or mold. You got to like fix the body. You have to make the immune system strong, clean it out. And of course, you can use antimicrobial herbs, et cetera, but you, and you can use them for a long period of time, a year or more, but you can't use drugs like that. So natural healing is the best way to address these organisms. So we're still talking about step five here. What are the symptoms that you get when you have organisms outside of your gut? This video is brought to you by my office. We use new and old clinical discoveries, solving complex chronic illnesses using only diet and supplements. We have this fantastic building. We have multiple practitioners. We do local and distance consultations. We help you improve your health as opposed to just squashing symptoms. And we have a variety of opportunities for you to get involved. We have eBooks and courses that are free. We have eBooks and courses that are paid for. I have my large seven-step blueprint to optimal health online course, which walks you through the seven-step blueprint to optimal health. And you have access to all the supplements at patient pricing. My book is available on Kindle. If you want to buy supplements from my office, we have this store, which is for patients only, and we have this store, which is for everybody else. But if you just want to jump into direct care immediately, just contact the office directly. What are the symptoms that you get 
when you have organisms outside of your gut, in your joints, et cetera, well, arthritis, joints hurt, fibromyalgia, muscles are achy. And then I have a couple courses that go over some of these organisms. I have a mold course, I have a virus course, so you can learn about those specifically. In the virus course, I go over uh, probably 20 different products. And in the mold course, I go over uh, some of my favorite supplements for mold, but also how to address mold regarding your house, where you work, legal aspects, how to clean it, that kind of how to clean your body out, of course, how to measure it, lab test to measure mold, et cetera. Okay, now we're talking about step six of the seven step blueprint to optimal health, detox, heavy metals, chemicals, and radioactive elements. What are you doing when you are cleaning your body out of heavy metals and chemicals, et cetera? Well, in the six factors of MVX, you're reducing citrate. What is citrate? It's the main nutrient for the citric acid cycle, citrate, citric acid. And this is within the mitochondria where your body makes ATP. And if you took some biology in high school, maybe you've heard of the Krebs cycle. It is also known as the citric acid cycle. And it was discovered by Sir Hans Krebs in 1936. And citrate needs to be in the mitochondria in order for the Krebs cycle to work. If it's not in the mitochondria, where is it going to be? It's going to be in the blood. So with this blood test, the MVX blood test, if citrate is high, that's a problem. It's not getting into your cells and into your mitochondria. So when you look up citrate, like what raises it, it's two things. Number one, toxicity. And they mention specifically heavy metals such as mercury. And these toxins line the cell membranes and the mitochondrial membranes. There's two of them, inner and outer mitochondrial membranes. So when these are loaded up with toxins, these membranes become dumb and they don't allow nutrients in and then they don't allow bad things to leave. They become impermeable and then you get sick and the mitochondria dies and the cells die and the tissues die and you get really tired. And how can you measure the amount of toxicity in your body? There's two tests that I love. One's called total tox burden and the other one is called NutriVal. And Nutravel is actually a test that measures a lot of different factors in the seven steps. So it's becoming one of my favorite labs to run. Total Tox Burden has been my favorite lab to run. It measures over 20 heavy metals, over 20 chemicals, and 31 mycotoxins from mold. So these mycotoxins are they're out to kill you. Mold tries to kill you. So what supplements do you take to reduce the toxicity out of your body the answer is binders. And my favorite binders come from a company called Cellcore Biosciences. They also make pair one, two, three, and four. But the binders from Cellcore are smart and the technology behind them is fantastic. I've given whole lectures about this. I'm not going to get into this now. And the next question is what symptoms do you get when you're filled with toxins? This is what I wrote. Always failing health. Nothing improves. So it's like you're taking vitamins and minerals, you change your diet. It's the amount of toxicity in your body that just lays there. It's a burden on your cells and mitochondria, and you got to clean that out. And what course have I made to describe this? The seven step blueprint to optimal health. This is my main course. I have what, six courses and three eBooks and a paperback book. And the seven step blueprint to optimal health puts it all together. And it comes with me live on Zoom twice a month. I've been doing this now for two and a half years and teaching this information has really helped me master it. And it's helped me put, you know, this book together, all these thoughts, these graphics, put them together because I have to teach it. And I get great questions from my audience because a lot of these people in my audience are also patients. So I'm responsible for getting them better and I better know my stuff in order for them to have results. The seventh step is cell cleansing. So when you clean the cells out, it's the same sort of idea when you're cleaning out your intestines or cleaning out the rest of your body. You're lowering both citrate and glycate. So you're reducing the toxicity and the inflammation and chronic organisms that are living inside your cells. So when I use the word Lyme disease, I'm talking about all kinds of organisms in your cells, just like what I showed you with Array 12 earlier. Candida can be in the cells. Mold, viruses, bacteria, parasites can be in the cells. 
it's not just the Lyme organisms such as Borrelia burgdorferi. What labs can you run to see how your cells are doing? We already mentioned Cyrex-12, and I've already mentioned total tax burden. And then what are the therapies to clean the cells out? Well, these are herbals. I asked products from Cellcore Biosciences. They have ISBAB, ISBOR, ISBOOST, and ISBART. And also biocytin, I mentioned that one. Artemisinin is an herbal complex that comes from wormwood. And I use this to kill off a variety of organisms. GFSE stands for grapefruit seed extract. What are the symptoms that you get when your cells are toxic? Maybe you got Lyme disease, all kinds of symptoms, achiness uh, throughout your body, discomfort everywhere, poor brain function. I mean, these symptoms can be anywhere along the seven steps. But when I think of somebody that has intracellular toxicity and intracellular infections like Lyme disease, I'm thinking like, oh man, they can barely get out of bed and they need to be carried to the car at the end of the workday. Like that's kind of like the debilitating problems that people can have when they have organisms throughout their cells, not just in their lungs or not just, you know, candida in the gut. I'm talking about in the cells. So what's the course where I describe intracellular cleansing? That's the seven step blueprint to optimal health. The last step is step O, meaning optimization. And I use the word optimization because after you cleaned your whole body out with the seven steps, uh, you don't stop and you don't even want to try to just maintain. You want to optimize. You want to keep increasing your health. There's always something new to learn. There's always some new habit or practice you can put into your life. Some new product, new supplement, new recipe with for your diet. And you want to keep working on your health because you're either improving it or it's declining. You know, maintaining your health is, doesn't really exist. It's either going up or going down. And it takes effort for your health to keep going up. The other thing is too, you want to be in charge of your health. If you're not, somebody else will be. And a lot of these people who demand to be in charge of your health, they use drugs, 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 drugs. Drugs do not improve health. They never did. I mean, they can save your life, right? Like emergency medicine is great. And if you need an antibiotic, then use one. But in order to actually improve your health, it takes diet and supplements to do that, plus exercise. But I've had people not able to exercise because they're in a wheelchair and they still improve their health with diet and supplements. And if you exercise too much, you can deplete vitamin B1 out of your body and cause some serious trouble. So when you're optimizing your health, you're actually um, improving citrate and you're lowering citrate out of your blood into your cells. And I'm specifically talking about minerals. When, it, when you look up citrate, I've already mentioned this, citrate is too much toxins and also lack of support. And what they mean by that is mitochondrial support. What do the mitochondria need? They need 22 nutrients. B1 is one of them. And then the rest of them are minerals, mostly. That includes iron and sulfur, magnesium, potassium. So you can get a mineral status by doing one of two blood tests. The first one's a Nutraval, which I mentioned. And the second one is called Micronutrients by a lab company called Vibrant America. Vibrant America also does the total tax burden. What do you feel like when you have lack of nutrients in your mitochondria and you're deficient in electrolytes and minerals, you have poor exercise recovery and you have exercise intolerance. And I've actually been there myself because I had mold toxicity in 2016 and I detoxed mold, but later on in 2024, I had the same symptoms come back. Although my mold was gone out of my body, I actually was very deficient in B1 and some minerals especially B1 and also too vitamin B3 known as niacin and magnesium. And this is all evaluated by that lab test called Nutraval. Anyway, so B1 helped increase my exercise tolerance. And I, and through the summer of 2024, I went to the gym only once a month, but later in the fall, I could go back to the gym twice a week because I got my nutritional status back up. And I did a video about why I was B1 deficient but looking back, I did have the mold toxicity, but I think probably the biggest factor was I got Invisalign and it messed up my bite and I couldn't chew food for 19 months. So when you can't chew your food, you can't get your nutrients. And that was me. And uh, you can see the video about me going to the ER 
and the series of events that led me to discover I was B1 deficient. Within two weeks, my blood pressure was normal. Breathing was normal. Chest pain was gone. And I was much relieved. And I did, I've did. i discovered that B1 is the single most important nutrient of all of them. And I state that after 31 years of studying and practicing nutrition. So B1 is the main nutrient for step two, which is increasing energy, but obviously it can work in step eight, also optimization. So I made a course called Follow the Physiology Course. And this course is free. As a matter of fact, it's on the front page of my website, along with the Healthcare the Way Mother Nature Intended course. But let me show you this graphic about following the physiology. I made this graphic around 2018, and there's three circles here. Causes is in the blue, mechanisms in the green, and this purple color is symptoms. So you want to address all three of these factors in trying to reverse chronic disease. The seven-step blueprint to optimal health does this, but these main causes of chronic disease are toxins, pathogens, and excess sugar in the diet. The most common mechanism of chronic disease is called lactic acidosis. It's another way of saying that the mitochondria aren't working very well. But I use this term lactic acidosis because that's what the doctors of medicine and the founders of, of medicine in the 1930s called it. And then the symptoms come from organ dysfunction. So the way that you reverse symptoms is by feeding organs and making them happy. And then the organs don't tell you that they're unhappy anymore. But if you just do one of these circles, you're not going to address all the issues. You want to address the causes and the mechanisms and feed the organs. So that's what holistic doctors do is they address all three, whereas allopathic doctors just focus on symptoms. So you as a patient, you're telling the doctor all about your symptoms. And then your holistic doctor says to you, oh, okay, I understand. Let's talk about the causes and the mechanism. And so that's my job as the holistic doctor, as I talk about these two things, and your job is to talk about this thing right here. And that's, that's how we communicate. That's our, that's what we talk about. So there you go. There's the seven step blueprint to optimal health for reversing chronic disease. Also MVX, which is the laboratory test to measure chronic disease better than anything else. As of this recording, it is not yet available to the public. Also, I showed you the labs to, sh to run to measure chronic disease. I showed you the therapies to reverse the chronic disease. I showed you the symptoms that people get at each of those seven steps. And then I showed you the courses and the eBooks that I made in order to fully understand each of those seven steps. So one more time in 10 seconds, the diet needs to be low carb, change of physiology to keto, take B1 and other supplements to increase mitochondrial function, Prepare for cleansing by enhancing drainage. Clean out the gut. Clean out the body. Detox heavy metals, chemicals, and radioactive elements. Clean out the cells. And then optimize with nutrients, especially minerals. In that order. And you work it up and down, up and down. And you may have to revisit some of the steps. And you keep enhancing your health that way. But there's no point in trying to detox heavy metals when you have four-foot tapeworms in your gut. There's no point and trying to do any of the later steps if you're consuming sugar on a daily basis. One time I had a patient with four cancers and he did all kinds of holistic therapies and supplements and diet and coffee enemas. But every morning he had two spoonfuls of sugar in his coffee and he ended up dying of the cancers. So what's the point of doing anything if you're consuming sugar like that? There's people online who talk about magnesium as the most important supplement and the best thing to do, and also go outside and get some sunshine and maybe go biking. But it's like people try this and they're deficient in minerals, they're deficient in B1, they're filled with parasites, they got candida, mold, heavy metals. It's like they're missing all of it. And I think most doctors online that I watch, they're missing most of or all of it. There's a lot of keto doctors that I love and I follow them and I learn from them, but they're missing all the other things. And so as a holistic doctor, if you are one, you should master all the things and don't just be like the mold doctor or the parasite doctor or the low carb doctor. And if you choose not to specialize in all the things, then be sure to refer out and have a team of people 
that you can send your patients to. So first the patient goes to the low carb doctor and they take some B1. Then you take them to the herbalist, make sure their kidneys, liver, lungs, lymphatic system, colon are working well. Then you send them to the parasite doctor. Then you send them to the detox doctor. So you could, you know, have this referral network or you can master all these steps. This is the front page of my website. You get access to all the courses by going right here on the upper right. It says online courses. And there they are. Click on one of them to see the introductory page about them. And this is my ebook, Discover Why Organisms in Your Head Could Be the Root Cause of Your Disease. And this is about organisms up here. So in order to get this book, I will put uh, this link right here. And you can click on that. And it gives you an introduction as to why you should get this book. But either way, I have lots of resources for you. I've spent the last nine years creating these courses and ebooks, and it's just all coming together very well. And if you want to just bypass all the ebooks and courses and just become a patient and get direct care, you can call the office directly, and I'll put that at the very end right here.